You're now experiencing the Gretna Bill Show. Hi everybody, welcome to the Gretna Bill Show, a podcast about cycling culture and community locally here in Mount Gretna and in central Pennsylvania and the world, combating disinformation wherever we find it. Hey, welcome to the Gretna Bill Show. Thanks everybody. And tonight we have Floyd Landis, Jake Sittler, and my usual co-host, What's up? Big Todd Holsopple. Little mm. Todd Holsopple. That Todd? Just little yeah, that's Todd, man. Just oh, little. Man. So cheers, before Todd. we get, cheers, cheers. before cheers. we get into cheers. it, man, cheers. Cheers. let's cheers. talk a little oh, about, what do you want to talk about? You want to go into old school, right? Well, you know, if you guys have watched the podcast in the past, I like nostalgia. And so, you know, Floyd's probably as old school as they come for racing around here oh, for, definitely, for our generation. <laughs> You know, we had Ryan DeWald on a couple weeks ago, so Ryan's right in there. Uh, But I'd love to talk about the first race when we all met you as the the Pinch Pond race. Uh, And I think you won that. We verified it earlier. He did ride it with cutoff jeans and wheelie across the finish line and won 500 bucks. Right, Floyd? What the fuck were you guys doing? <laughs> we're in, we're in spandex. We're in, yeah. we're in spandex. Yeah, yeah. Trying to go fast when we weren't. Yeah, I know. I was looking at everyone else like, man, this is a bunch of weirdos. Cool. But they gave me 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah. 500 yeah. bucks. That's cool. <laughs> Did you ride your bike home after that? Yeah, man, I had to get home. Yeah. I mean, no, dude, he got picked up. He's making that up. No, I, really <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> I mean, no one was picking me up. Yeah, oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> if I remember correctly. So then, you know, you know, he went. Floyd went pro. Then certainly there, shortly thereafter. So I'm at the Sea Otter, right? And I'm up on this. Uh, there's this big bridge that connects the parking area with the venue of race. They still have that, by the way. They still yeah, do at, Sag- at Saguna. <laughs> <It's annoying. laughs> yeah, it is annoying. Yeah, it is. So I'm going across there. You know, Floyd left, became pro and everything. And I thought, yeah, I'll never see that guy again. And then all of a sudden I hear, Billy, Billy, you know, dude. And I'm like, what? It's Floyd. And he's like, yo, how's everything in Gretna? I'm like, great, man. <laughs> he picked me out of this huge crowd. And, um, you know, he's always <laughs> been like, he's always been so old school, man. It's been just beautiful, man. I love the guy. So then uh, we go forward to like 2002. He he's on U.S. Postal with Lance. We're an interbike, and there's all these uh, crowd barriers. He's up on stage, lights, cameras, press, and uh, Lance is going, "Dude, I don't like your your music selection." And Floyd's just like, just you know, just handling it, doing his usual thing. And Lance is like, "Yeah, your your music selection sucks, but you're a pretty good rider." And so then again, <laughs> Floyd comes off off the stage, walks down, and he looks right at me. All these people are around, and he goes, yo, Billy, how's everything in Gretna? Yeah. And he goes, hey, you can Still come good. over and see me and Zabriskie later for an autograph. Still I'm like, good. yeah, dude, thanks, man. So, you know, I always uh, respect that. Man, he never forgot old school. But, um, yeah. So the takeaway is... Things are good in Gretna. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the main, main I think that's main, the main subject. Take what I'm pretty sure we had a ski correct. resort Gretna's tonight, so correct. I don't know what just happened, but <laughs> right. that place was uh, 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 well, Let's Let's talk about that. So I want to say thank yeah, the that was bro- delicious. Thank, thank the varieties you. for hosting us at the Timbers tonight. Yeah, man, that Timbers, was, that was Timbers beautiful. Tap, tap yeah, camp up dude, with us. That was awesome. Kate made some amazing drinks. You don't get places like that in America. I mean, you travel around and you don't get a nice dinner Early on, early on, Floyd was riding his mountain cycles, him and Eric. And Drake. Yes. San Andreas, and oh, they were that's a, a video mon- game. Mono- it's like Grand Theft Auto. Really? It is. Yeah, they, they were a monocoque, <laughs> monocoque aluminum frame. He comes into the shop. Can you work on this stuff? It's like, yeah, we can. And then shortly thereafter, I get a call from Hampton and I think Big J to Jesus. And they're oh, like, what became of that dude? Right, right. Yeah. He's still doing it. We rode with him on Sunday. We rode with him on Sunday. We rode with him on Sunday. No kidding. Oh, so, so good. yeah, good he here. goes, yo, dude, Floyd uh, went off this jump. We took him off this jump and he folded this frame. <laughs> I'm like, you're kidding me. That's yeah. happened a few times, I think. Yeah. He folded a few frames. That, it wasn't designed very well. Yeah. No. It, it looked, looked, cool, it looked cool as hell. Looked real, we yeah. got this time where uh, Floyd was riding a road bike on a mountain bike thing. He broke a frame and... There's all you kinds know, of stories. I mean, yeah. I'm just trying to. So, get you know. From point, uh, a to point B. Yeah. So, um, you know, and also just bringing up to date, you uh, you showed up at Tour de Gretna, you showed up at the Gretna Gravel Grind. That was really huge. We appreciate that. Yep. And it just, it goes to show you, you know, uh, Floyd's putting back into cycling uh, like he always did. It's just, it's great to have him around. Um, and, you know, Jake, you had this bad accident, right? I did at one point in time and several uh, points in time. Several points in time. <laughs> yeah. And 
And you were telling me that uh, CBD really, you know, helped you. And you knew yeah, Floyd man. before that. But we did, yeah. So tell me about that. You know, it's basically ibuprofen, you know. Yeah, I mean, ibuprofen is probably a good word for it, but sometimes it feels like it needs to be a little stronger than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, I got hit by a car. My back is broken, and you just kind of lay around, and yeah. there you are. But no, dude, he did, it really works, man. It's good stuff, and it's if you actually feel like you're doing something good for your body. Why do you keep getting stuff. hit by cars? I don't know, man. He did. He got hit by a car again. The other yeah, week, I did. Like two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. My little baby was in the back seat. We got rear oh, ended. Geez. Kid was texting on Route 30. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. The old uh, Subaru. Impreza folded, but uh, this is a good Subaru ad, so uh, you know it's what makes Subaru a Subaru, I guess. Didn't buy another Subaru. I went uh, with the Volkswagen, but... <laughs> but hey, <laughs> Subarus are pretty popular yeah, in you know, so certain, certain, certain communities. communities. Yeah. Coming up in October, you guys are going to be at the Hemp Summit in Lancaster. Is that yep. what it says? Yeah. yeah. That's what I, I, I wrote that. that. Yeah, that's because I wrote it. So oh. what's that all about? That's not English. That's, yeah. that's, I don't uh, know. What, that's pig Latin. Latin. It makes uh, sense. Gretna Belize. So what are you guys doing there? I think uh, high management put that one on. But we're going to talk about the hemp, man. Hemp. Yeah. We're going to talk about all things hemp. When is it? What's the date? I think it's October 5th or 6th. Oh. He's going, dude. Also, my my birthday is the 14th. Maybe it's uh, my birthday. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we're going to change that then. date to the 14th. Did you know that hemp became birthday? legal on your birthday, dude? When? In, in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. Yeah. So that's remarkable. It makes yeah. sense if you think about it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That was, I mean, so uh, also going forward, are you guys going to be at the Philly, Philly Bike Expo? Well, uh, yes. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Uh, I can't wait to see you Von there. Von Dessel booth. So... Um, you know, there's another quick story. I was at the hideaway the other night, and I, I was... The hideaway? So, yeah. Where's that? What's the hideaway? Mount Gretton Hideaway. So that near the... Whatever, Dude, hide, where were we? Hideaway. That we were at the Timbers, and the hideaway is just down the road. Yeah. So, is that where the, the younger people hang out? There? Yes. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Uh, even though I'm not one of them, but yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I meet Manny there, okay? Manny Khalees. So, so Manny goes... So we were talking old school about Floyd, all the different stories, you know, about how, like, I remember one time we were on a road ride, we're all on road bikes, all lycrid out, and Floyd shows up on a mountain bike with cut off jeans going, hey guys, what's up? And then, like, he rode from Ephrata, rode with us, kind of, you know, let us out, and then went home to Ephrata, and we were like, dude, was that guy on a mountain bike on a 26-inch wheel? And it's like, yeah. I think I think these stories are made up. No, but hang on. I think no, you, that's a true story. Well, I'm not convinced. It's all dude. about the story. I feel I hear all these stories about Floyd riding from here to from no, no, no. like to go, run go to the ahead, world. And I'm like, no, so I think that some people thought I was wearing cut off jeans everywhere. Out of some kind of principle, like that's just what I had to wear. Like the fuck else would I wear? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, right. Yeah, got Why it. Why would I wear lycra? Yeah. So, still, so Manny yeah. tells me. <laughs> that just still looks stupid, dude. <laughs> right. yeah. Manny tells me. My daughter me, told me that yesterday. Man, I don't wear it anymore. Manny, Manny tells me that in that, that, that great year, 2006, you won um, Tour of Georgia. You won Paris Nice. You won Tour de France. And he said during that year, he said he went out to visit you at the Tour of Amgen. And he said Floyd was so chill, he goes, we, um, well, I went on the bus and they were all chill and talking to me and everything. And he goes, the next thing I know, they said, go ahead, drive the bus, Manny. And <laughs> that's a true story, right? Yeah, I think well, that was our problem. We were probably trying to actually be cool. Too cool. <laughs> <laughs> too cool. Yeah, a little too cool. Not yeah. serious yeah. enough. Yeah. Well, we weren't actually cool is what he said. <laughs> we were, uh, yeah. Did the, did you bring down the banner? Did Manny drive it through? Like, uh, what was the team that brought the banner? Down? <laughs> yeah, they yeah. got it stuck. No, he, yeah, yeah. Right I saw right 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 <laughs> We should have done that. Yeah, that dude, if, like that's good. like the yeah. only way you get real publicity with cycling is if you actually you mess something, something up. Destroy something. Yeah, you got to yeah. destroy something. Otherwise, so yeah, like driving under a banner. Yeah, you're right. You're good. So then we go to after your settlement this last year or two years ago. It was really a great gesture. You uh, hooked up with Gord Frazier, and you decided to sponsor this um, Continental team. And the name of that team is now Floyd's of Leadville, right? Yeah. Or well, Floyd's Racing. Yeah, How does that go? Well, we, yeah, we couldn't call it Floyd's of Leadville because for a lot of reasons. But I mean, mostly it was just 
associations. Hey, yeah, go yeah. go race your bikes. But it was, yeah. for, it was for the kids. There's a bunch of kids. Like it was me riding around in cut off pants or whatever. And then the that theory was, is we brought that back. Yeah, yeah, and so we tried to bring that back. I tried to tell them to wear sweatpants, but they, they didn't want to do that. I guess they're all rules. <laughs> Uh, Can we w- work into the Floyds of Leadville? So I read an article about you that you were doing uh, you were doing some compounding in, in Denver. Is that kind of how that all uh, came yeah, about? I was, yeah, I was working at a compounding pharmacy, and then they legalized marijuana. So I thought, well, okay, I, you know, I'm, I'm like... I'm an expert on drugs. Yep. <laughs> uh, and really? I like drugs. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> So this might be something for me. Um, so, yeah. the, so the beauty about compounding is, you know, physicians can write for a, a patient a specific, uh, lack of a better word, compound, yeah, right? Correct. So uh, one size doesn't fit all. Correct. Right? They, they, they can sell things that aren't commercially available. Correct. So they can create things. Although that had nothing to do with the marijuana side of it. But yeah, that's what I was But that's, I mean, there's a transition there, right? People yeah. are looking for, <laughs> you know, personalized medicine. Yeah. Right. Not one size fits all. Right. Um, so can you explain that transition, how you, you know, got to where, you know, Floyd's of Leadville was a thing? Explain yeah. That. So yeah. what happened was I, after the compounding pharmacy sort of dis, dis, disbanded, disintegrated, for lack of a better word, um, I got into the marijuana side of it because I was living there and that was a requirement to be, you know, involved in the business at all. They were trying to prevent because they were the first state to legalize marijuana right so they were trying to prevent people with so you had to be a resident of colorado yeah yeah right. they right. were just trying to prevent money from outside coming they, they wanted to regulate it right sure so we made this topical formula that you could just rub on your arm or whatever and it would make you high pretty quickly like within 10 minutes or so but we weren't allowed to give out samples or anything and no one believed that it would work but it really did work okay um and so we didn't really sell very much of it. But then, then the CBD thing came along, and we knew that we could deliver these same cannabinoids with this formula we had. So we started making the same formula with CBD in it. And it works really well. I mean, for a lot of people, it works. It doesn't make you high, obviously. That's not the goal, but it's... Um, well, part of business is kind of weaving through, yeah. right? Yeah, like yeah. You're, I mean, you're, you, you know, you, you start with an idea. Well, look. You started with the backbone of the transdermal yeah. cream, and then they went to the soft gels, and then the tinctures. And honestly, at this point, we've gained a ton of popularity with convenience stores. And just look, I mean, Floyd's goal here is just to give this product to people at a reasonable price. Yeah. Sheets, and, and, runners, no, look, yeah, uh, 20 locations no, in Central no, Pennsylvania our gummy, alone, yeah. our gummy line is actually one of the fastest sellers in the C-store industry yeah. because we're actually offering someone medicine for a reasonable price. I mean, you can go into a store and get it for two ninety nine, and the fact of the matter is the whole entire industry is actually just overcharging everyone, and everyone is out there spending $90, $100 a month just to buy this stuff, and Correct. we came up with a way to, look, let's sell this stuff for a reasonable rate, get it to people in different delivery methods because... It really held in, it's all about just getting the cannabinoids in your system and finding ways to get it there to help you. It can be a gummy, it can be a cream, it can be a tincture, it doesn't really matter. It's just getting people Those to try it. Those substances are naturally occurring no, anyway. Exactly. So you're just enhancing that No effect. one. No one's ever scared to try because it's like, oh, it's marijuana, it's in a, some medicinal dose. You put it to them in a gummy and everyone's like, okay, this is a this is accessible. No, and it, helps a, lot, it helps a lot of people. It, and oh, it's, for sure. it's become this fad where people are charging crazy amounts no, it's ridiculous, branded man. things that, it doesn't need to cost that much we it's this can be like any other commodity and we can sell it for a reasonable price and if people are reasonable with it it's not going to harm anybody and it's so that it's brings up. us up to current where all of a sudden you're in Lancaster County and you guys are vertically integrating your business right the fact of the matter is we're in a state that needs help with their agriculture commodity I mean we've all been here we've all lived here farm is a struggle right I mean no, it's just it, look you're in the hops industry I mean yeah. you own a brewery you know what it's like yeah. to buy off a, a commodity and yeah. what what it takes to do that in Lancaster County is it has a lot of them and corn's not going that well yeah. and neither is soybean and dairy's not doing well so the point of it is you're back in cycling uh you're back at home you're you know you're i wouldn't say some... we're in cycling well 
We, well, you tried. Showed up, you we showed, showed up to we'll, the we'll Grand Grand. No, I like Cycling. We like yeah, it. We yeah. just don't. We don't feel, necessarily feel like we've been embraced. You guys, obviously, you guys have. Oh, we do, and that's because you guys are the legit. Yeah, no, that, this that's is the, the real deal. This right? is the real deal. Doesn't Not matter what everybody else. Commercial bullshit. Right, right. It doesn't yeah, matter what everybody rich. else. It's actually fair enough because the most fun I had this year was at my Gretna bike ride. So yeah, thanks. There you go. And Bill, you were there. Gifford, you were there. That was a great day. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. And we had presidential candidate Wayne Messer. No yeah, he, right. he, he, he yeah. showed up. So, yeah, thanks for coming to Tour de France. Is he Gretna. still in the run, in the race? Oh, no. hell yeah. No. I think he is. Yeah, probably I think not. he is, yeah. but probably not. Yeah. So he, uh, he actually never was. Come on, Wayne. Yeah, yeah come on. He was like the Gurches, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. The bikes, so, the tour, tour de Gretna is going to happen this next year. We hope you guys will be there. I think you're going to have a lot of success in Lancaster County. And, um, yeah, I'm just jazzed that you came on the show, and everything you're doing is just, uh, yeah, I love it, man. I love it, and it's love to have you back. Do you think the Tour de Grenada has a huge order. effect on the presidential, you know? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I personally do, but yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course I would. Yeah. Dude, we have a logo, the Gretna Bill Show. I mean, once we possible. own the Lancaster Farming, if I run for president... Do you guys, you got, would you guys support that? Totally. Yeah, he is. Oh, far, right? this is the uh, oh, host. This is the brain. This is the brain. So I unfortunately Googled your name while you guys were eating. You have and the internet. I, you it was won't the give same me the situation. I, I had to click off of it. I read like three paragraphs, but then I clicked off of it. And it was, it was like real negative. And with the same experience I got with the Lance Armstrong thing, which I know you don't want me bringing up, but... You but should try. It was the same experience, where it's like the news that we all see. You know what? You and need, you everybody need else believes, you, but it, once you get on the inside, do me a favor. You, you're focus like, That's on not how it happened. Farming. Yeah. Because we're we're actually acquiring this publication, <laughs> and it will only say positive things. <laughs> but, uh, but solid. Thank you. So far, From I got an on. awesome impression of you. So <laughs> it's all BS. <laughs> it's all BS, right? <laughs> right. We can't it's say hard to say. For I mean, Lance, but man, yeah, it's hard to say sure, because we don't know. Really. Hey, Bill, what do we have coming up on the Gretna Bill Show in the next few weeks? Uh, the Samba Bash is Samba coming bash up. This well, that? Yeah. Uh, it's a mountain bike Samba, uh, yeah. kind of a bash. Uh, Susquehanna Susquehanna and, uh, bike. So what's the best uh, Susquehanna area mountain bike trail? Uh, uh, trail 15. Michelle. No, no, no. Of, of, um, ah, all trail of those 15. you mentioned. Michelle, Michelle 15. Trail 15. And okay. then, I mean, Mount Gretna is the oh, best, but man. we don't really want people coming. Are we talking right. about no, the fire? Exactly. Stay <laughs> away. Stay away. So, the, so we're talking well, about the, the fire that. roads. The Hershey Michelle. trails are awesome. Yeah. No, the fire <laughs> roads of Michelle are all you need to ride. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't go anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, don't go anywhere beyond yeah. that, because that's all you actually have to ride is the fire roads. Once a great thing is done, it can't be undone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you okay, man? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to go with that. Once a great thing is done, it cannot, cannot be, be undone. undone. Thanks for joining us today to the Gretna Bill Show. Appreciate it. And I hope you all enjoyed the show. And a special thanks to our sponsors today. Uh, Guerciati Bikes, GuerciatiUSA.com, Lupine Lighting Systems, LupineNorthAmerica.com, and Floyd's of Leadville. And Lancaster Farming. Oh. And Lancaster Farming. Yeah, and the business. Yeah. Okay. And the business. It was a lot, it was a lot <laughs> speed oh, limits high. It was a lot smaller high. road back then. So you're not getting pulled over. <laughs> like you could actually ride on the side and no one cares. He's not getting pulled over. Even 222, like I would just ride on the side. <laughs> that was they that was one of the few things yeah. they would plow in the winter. Right. Like I had, I had a nice road yeah. and there was no one Smooth. out there. <laughs> I trained over 32. That's some tough days.